Welcome back to another compact and efficient satisfactory video. A lot of people like the idea of having a main bus for all resources where they can easily extract anything necessary from. I am one of those players. And while a main bus is not always a good idea or the best solution, in combination with a factory town, also my favorite approach to this game, it works like a charm if you invest into building the infrastructure beforehand. Here's how you can do it and two great locations for setting up a factory town fed by a main bus. The game has 10 base resources you can transport with a belt and some pipe related stuff like nitrogen gas and oil, more on that later. I usually plan with 8 resources to keep a vertical main bus better manageable. I exclude uranium and SAM ore from the system to achieve this. Coal will be directly transformed into steel before being transported. I also set up any smelters or constructors in case of limestone close to the nodes in small and easy to expand factories. Exception from this rule are of course sulfur, quartz, which is often used as silica ore crystals, and maybe caterium. Although I tend to prefer caterium wire on the main bus, despite some alternate recipes using ingots. Bauxite will also be transformed into aluminium before entering the main bus and steel is produced, as mentioned, close to a coal and iron source. A main bus biggest limitation is the belt speed, so I wouldn't bother setting it up before reaching at least tier 2 belts. And because you have to update the bus every time you unlock a new belt speed and miners, you may want to start out slow with just the basics like iron, copper and limestone then transition into the next tier with belts MK3 before adding more resources. Unlocking higher belt speeds is always your top priority. Your factory output is limited by the number of resources you can put in. So if you want to build gigantic mega factories, a main bus is definitely not for you. It works best in my opinion for medium sized factory towns. Another crucial part is the location. You want easy access to most resources, pure nodes if possible. My two favorite spots are the central lake, as you can see here. A very beautiful location with plenty of build space. I can access iron, copper and limestone pure nodes with a supply line to the north. And sulfur, steel and quartz with a simple extension to the east. Oil is also available directly on site. By the time you need aluminium and nitrogen gas, you already have unlocked the tools and resources to easily implement a more demanding line from the south. But overall, this is a great place to build a factory town. Recently I built on this spot on the southwestern shores, which gives you unlimited building space. Iron, copper, limestone, coal, sulfur and caterium are super close and easy to access. Quartz is a little further away, but in the same direction you can later set up an aluminium facility. Crude oil is also plentiful available very close by, which makes it easy to import plastic and rubber and setting up fuel generators later on. Now we have established under which circumstances a main bus can work and some great locations. How do we set up the main bus in our base? I prefer a vertical 8 belt system with input buffers at the start of the main bus inside the factory town. At one point I feed all lines into this setup with 8 storage units. You could also feed the line from the other side as I did with aluminium on my first location at the central lake. I would leave at least 2 maybe even 3 tiles free to ensure easy access to the vertical stack belts. And another 2 tiles as walkway between factories. This way you can overcome most vertical challenges by simply placing belts. For anything else there are lifts, which let you overcome any height difference. And if you prefer a cleaner look you might want to use lifts in general and use one unified height to transport resources from the belts into the factories. This way you could also encapsulate the belts and lifts more easily for a super clean look. In later stages I can simply incorporate pipes on the roof for nitrogen gas. Water is plentiful available on both sides if needed. For example, when you want to transform sulfur into acid. And this is your basic setup. Easy to expand and very modular. Adapted to your own preferred style. 
I like the little rawness of open belts between factories, but you could make this work with a very clean look too. Once you have invested the work into the basic setup, it is very easy to just tap into the resources. But you have to lay out the infrastructure first and you have to upgrade miners, belts and smelter facilities a few times. Once you unlock 480 and later 780 per minute belt speeds, you can really build anything you want, as long as your goal is not to build super-sized factories. Between factories you can easily transport advanced parts like modular frames. Products like rubber and plastic are usually import via drones or trucks. I am one of the few people who doesn't enjoy setting up trains in this game. Another reason why I prefer this more modular factory town plus a main bus system. It is by all means not the very best solution and has its own limitation, especially if you want to go super big or set up a train network, a main bus is pretty useless. But one of the best things about Satisfactory is that you can really do anything you like and there is no best way. This is just one way to do it and I happen to enjoy building this way. I hope you found this little compact video helpful and thank you very much for watching to the end. For now this is all about Satisfactory. Take good care of yourself and enjoy your gaming sessions.